This is Mike, and this is Anya, and this is their restaurant, Mike and Patty's. Located on the corner of Church and Fayette Streets in Boston's Bay Village, Mike and Patty's is a tiny little shop serving breakfast sandwiches that seem to have a cult-like following. Mike and Patty's makes Boston's best breakfast sandwich. We make some of the best sandwiches with farm-to-table ingredients. If you want an egg sandwich, if you want something that's gooey gooey eggs and bacon in between two pieces of bread with various accompaniments, then this is the place you want to be. Current owners Michael Gurevich and Anya Zaroda are the husband-wife team you'll always find fixing up something tasty. They bought the place back in 2012 and decided to keep the name, something that Anya has to explain almost on a daily basis. I am the new Patty, but you can call me Anya. Set in this quiet neighborhood between townhouses, Mike and Patty's can be hard to find. We are hidden in this beautiful gem of a neighborhood. So it's a little bit hard to find us, but once you do find us, you will have some of the best breakfast food of your life. And not only because it's tucked away, but the space itself is pretty much minuscule. 175 square feet, not much space to move around. We have a great staff that kind of is very skilled at moving around each other and making sure that when we're really slamming and we're doing 350 to 400 sandwiches, we're like a well-oiled machine and these guys hold it down and kind of make it work with uh, very limited space. And it's pretty amazing. And what's coming out of this small space tastes amazing. There's the classic, your standard breakfast sandwich served with American cheese, a fried egg, and your choice of meat. Or this amped up spin called the North-South Classic, which adds Canadian bacon from the North, along with Southern style collard greens. But if you want the house favorite, order the fancy. Give the fat from the egg, the fat from the cheese, the fat from the bacon, the fat from the avocado, in between some really rich, hearty, multi-grain Iggy's bread. And it really just blends together to give you that like kind of really rich, deep, amazing kind of like breakfast sandwich profile that really makes people jump up and down for joy. And for an upgrade on the fancy, order the Robert. The Robert is our lunch version of the fancy. So if you just happen to be in the mood for lunch and don't have a hankering for breakfast anymore, you could take out the eggs and we replace it with turkey. And we also add some tomato jam to that sandwich. There are healthy takes on grilled cheeses like this vegan version topped with braised green maple squash and caramelized onions. But if you want a sandwich you'll become immediately addicted to, there's nothing better than the breakfast grilled crack. The breakfast grilled crack is so good it should be illegal. You have two eggs, four pieces of bacon, Swiss, Gruyere, American, cheddar, all melted together on Iggy sourdough. Once you pull it apart, it's just like cheesy goodness. And if you ask the owners to pick their favorites from the menu, Anya will tell you to get the gold mine. My favorite sandwich is the gold mine, hands down. I absolutely love that sandwich. It is brioche, so it is nice soft bread with then some honey whipped ricotta with a little bit of lemon zest in there and crispy pancetta and a nice kind of gelled egg with some ooey gooeyness happening. So when it's all cut, you have all the yolks coming out, dripping onto the ricotta and then you bite into to it and it's just like soft, like a cloud, like you're just jumping into heaven, feeling like Tom Brady just won the Super Bowl. But if you ask Mike, he'll send your palate south of the border to the breakfast torta, featuring a big sesame roll overloaded with fried eggs, cheddar cheese, pickled jalapenos, potatoes, black beans, salsa, and avocado. You kind of have the chewiness of the bread, with the runny egg yolk, with the beans and the salsa and the potatoes, and it kind of gives you that uh, Mexican kick a little bit with the eggs. It's, it's a really big, really filling sandwich. And while the space is small, everything about Mike and Patty's, Patty's, is hugely charming. I think it's kind of like a very like mythical or a very kind of unique experience. I don't think there's a lot of places that will give you the same kind of feeling. I mean, the food is obviously to die for, but it's really the whole experience, you know, like coming in here, ordering, kind of seeing the small space, seeing your food get made, and then kind of eating it and walking around the neighborhood and being like, wow, this is such an amazing, cool little place.